Now, shifting gears now, and we're entering the era of wearable technology. Shipments of these wearable devices, such as smartwatches, are expected to top 19 million this year and jump about 80% annually over the next five. And while there's little doubt that they add quite a lot of extra con inc convenience rather, to our lives, they're also adding to concerns about privacy. Our Kim Minji reports. The explosive growth of wearable devices has also brought with it privacy concerns. According to a new report by Korea's National Information Society agency, there are mounting fears of misuse or abuse of information as wearable devices are able to collect a variety of personal information regardless of place or time. Front and center is Google Glass, which can record everything in view and share it in an instant. The product's facial recognition app, NameTag, is also raising alarms as a user can get their hands on personal information, including a person's name and their photos on social media, just by taking a photo of them. A U.S. senator has already called on Google to come up with measures so that the application only identifies people who have given the permission to do so. Other countries are also stepping up efforts to protect personal information. The British Data Protection Act prohibits the use of personal information attained through wearable devices for advertisement or business purposes. Australia also offers detailed guidelines when it comes to privacy invasion through the use of digital devices. Korea, on the other hand, has a lot of ground to make up. Wearable devices do not fall into the category of network cameras or image information processing devices, so relevant laws do not forbid their use. And to be punished by the current information network law, videos must contain pornography or violate privacy or portrait rights. The Korean agency's report points that there needs to be basic standards that can be applied to wearable devices. The Korea Communications Commission acknowledges there is a cause for concern and plans to review relevant laws and regulations. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.